can't really say that Hyper's back on their bullshit because the feces really never left the pot. For those of you that don't know, Hyper is one of the mini custom controller companies that makes premium pads for Xbox and PlayStation. I've reviewed two of their DualSense controllers, one of which has magnetic Hall Effect thumbstick modules and an Xbox controller as well. And after really liking their controllers, what they had to offer for the price, after giving them my stamp of approval or nod of, yeah, these are pretty good controllers, I started seeing a lot of complaints pop up in the comment section, also in my Discord, floating around on Reddit, controller forums, on Googly Goog. And that's when I did a little deep dive, put on my swimmer's cap and my ear putty, and started investigating the company, and that landed me in a direct conversation via Discord with the owner, Cameron, who was very forthcoming with some ways forward. He knows the problems and came up with written out solutions, which I laid forth in front of my audience February 28th in a warning video called Hyper Custom Controllers, Big Problems, and Their Solutions. I showed verbatim the messages from Cameron, but then also went over to the comment section of my YouTube video showing that the problems were still occurring. So it's cool that they have a plan in place, but the changes hadn't really been implemented and nothing ha has really moving forward. It was business as usual, which is maximum stinkage. And when I say maximum stinkage, what our nostrils were getting destroyed with, controllers coming out of the box defective, repairs not being made, customers being told that they needed to pay for shipping to and fro, warranties not being honored within the periodic time frame, and then most importantly, one that really soured my milk and I don't even drink typical lactose milk anymore because I saw a documentary on how fucking gross it is and I moved to almond milk. Sorry, side topic there. What really soured my fucking jug of milk was that at such a convenient time that all these customer complaints are coming in, Hyper had switched their payment vendor, their company that handles all of their payments to and fro, money coming in, money going out, including customer refunds. So they were unable or had their hands tied to process refunds in a timely manner. Shortly after I made that video, I started getting a lot of DMs and Discord from unsatisfied Hyper customers, decided to reach out to me to see if I could do anything for them. If I'm not slammed with a video project or something, of course, I'm going to reach out to Hyper and be like, hey, here's order number 262. Uh, Tom and Jerry over here ordered a custom pad and hasn't gotten a refund. What's going on? I've done this with a handful of individual customer complaints and a couple of them, literally two, <laughs> seem to have gotten resolved within about a four month period, but the rest of them, not so much. And I I just got a message from a longtime faithful subscriber and viewer that really just it's the straw that breaks the camel's back, the nail in the coffin that makes me solidify my statement. There are so many other custom controller companies on the market, and there is no one feature or component that Hyper offers that you cannot find for the same or lower prices from any of its competitors. So with the customer support non-existent and their quality control in the gutter currently, I simply can't recommend that anybody spends their hard-earned caps, ducats, shekels, or rupees on a Hyper controller. <laughs> We've got more to talk about. So it's story time, stallions gather around the campfire as it's crackling the embers, smoke in our eyes, haze in our corneas, sharing my screen. Actually, no, not going to do that because it's got people's emails and personal information. We're just going to call the individual reaching out to me with this problem, long-term subscriber, faithful fan, friend of the channel, homie of the gamer heaven. He reached out to me April 8th and said, I know it's not ideal for me to reach out to you via email, but I need some help from you, if possible, in parentheses. Very polite of him, very grammatically correct with the parentheses. First I'll say that I've been a longtime follower of your YouTube content for a few years now, and we've had conversations in this email thread before. I'm just not sure if you still see it. Thank you, my friend. Sorry, it's dark in here. I wanted to not get blasted with lights while I'm reading this email. Anyways, I was one of your followers that had issues with hyper controllers, and you actually read my comment in your video addressing the issues that hyper is currently having. So what this handsome buck stallion is referring to is in that video, I actually use specific use case scenarios with actual customers. Look at this guy. What happened over here? Look at this gal. What's happening to her? I bought a controller from them, then decided to submit a refund. I emailed them and got the RMA approved and shipped it back to them December 13th. Swig of water real quick. Swig of water. Drink it. Even if you're not thirsty, you drink it. Once you can anyway. They still have not refunded me or even addressed the reason for the holdup. I've had to use different emails just to get them to reply to me at all. So that is funky when you see that a company's trying to ignore you, an old girlfriend, a company, anybody, right? You got to change your number. You got to go incognito mode to get a response. Does that make you a stalker or does that make you an unsatisfied customer who's getting shucked and jived by hyper? It's the latter in this case. Then when I bring up my return, they don't reply. So he'll get a return as long as he's talking about maybe buying a new controller or something. So 
if you have contact with any insiders within the company, could you possibly pass this along for me? It's been five months since I oh, since I sent the dang thing back. So that message was April 8th, and he had already been trying to return his controller for five months. Fast forward to... T -t -t today, Junior! <laughs> to Tuesday, which was yesterday, they sent him a message that is so fucking stupid. Let's just read it together. Thank you for reaching out. We apologize for the delayed response and lack of update. Unfortunately, due to the elapsed time, we cannot process a refund as me return window has passed. So a little typo there showing minimal fucks are given as email has a built in spell check. You just right click and yeah, that's how it's supposed to be spelled. Those one syllable words really boggle the brain. Host annual. An annual. 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 Meeting of. Here. The. Oh. The. Yeah. The host annual return window has passed. The reason the return window has passed is because you lollygagged and dragged your feet for, at this point, like nine months now. So it's not on the customer's end. That is absolutely 110% finger of judgment here on the company's end. However, we would like to resolve this for you to your satisfaction. So their resolutions, as you're going to read in just a second, are clearly to the company's satisfaction, not to any customer with a pulse. We can offer you the following options. Replacement controller. Well, considering he already tried to get a refund for his controller, he probably doesn't want one. Store credit. Again, that just leads you right back down the brick road of I don't want a pro controller from this company. Last but not least, a discount slash voucher. Why don't you let me fix you some of this new Mococo drink? All natural cocoa beans from the upper slopes of Mount Nicaragua, no artificial sweeteners. What the hell are you talking about? Who are you talking to? The finest Himalayan mocha choco cocoa beans is what they're trying to brew for him. And I don't blame my longtime subscriber over here for not wanting to taste their disgusting beans. Spit that shit out. <laughs> And I do fully understand the frustration of getting treated unfairly from a massive company or a smaller company. And they should have so many layers of customer support in place, but they don't. I'm experiencing this myself with Amazon as I'm out over $1,300 for a purchase I've been trying to return for over six weeks. Have even opened a third party investigation with a company called A to Z, who I ended up investigating myself. Turns out I'm gonna make a separate video on this topic, but I fully understand the frustration here, even being out two, $300 for a pro controller. And you're going to understand my frustration being out $1,300 on a damaged product. And then more importantly than that, my time and getting drugged through the absolute ringer with mix match information from customer support and then supervisors giving me information that is blatantly confirmed to be wrong. And most importantly, the third party company that they use for their investigations, they should be investigated themselves because it's not a valid more customer dissatisfaction and more blunders and pitfalls not being able to communicate with Amazon. It's crazy. So I'm going to say a couple of things right here, right now. So make sure you get a front row seat. I know you bought a ticket for the whole seat, but you're only going to need the edge. One, I will not be spending any of my personal shekels on any hyper controllers, which I actually haven't up until this point because all three of the controllers I tested have been sent for review. But this whole ordeal should definitely show that I'm for the customer, not f for the company. Just because I get sent a product for review does not mean if I see bad business practices taking place, fraudulent behavior, and in some points, what seems like a downright scam happening in front of my audience that I'm not going to articulately lay it out in front of everyone. The next thing I'm going to mention is that Amazon and A to Z guarantees or A to Z investigations, your day in court's coming right around the corner, buckaroo, because that's an even bigger issue than what's going on with Hyper, because I think more people have been actually fucked by Amazon. Amazon than Hyper, and I have six weeks of written transcripts from Amazon customer support and some just some mind boggling shit. So it's unfortunate I had to make a spicy video like this because I don't like to get real movie caliente on camera. I generally like to be laid back chilling like a villain reviewing some controllers or gaming peripherals, keyboards, mice, headsets. But when the companies that make those products are jacking and jerking their customers to and fro, this is the kind of video that's going to get made. Hopefully nobody purchases a controller from that company until these changes get implemented. Although that warning video came out four and a half months ago and not only have these changes not been implemented, but it's actually seems like things are trending for the worse over there. So 
down. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers, so this information will reach and assist them as well. Much like the back of the TV, I've got plugs for all of my socials down there in the description below. And your wallet will greatly thank you if you check the description because there are exclusive discounts on a ton of products, including controllers, control freaks, keyboards, mouse pads, clothes, and energy drinks. And keep in mind that you, the viewer, keep this channel running. The more stallions and stallionettes trotting around the stable, the better. So molly wop that subscribe button like it owes you money, and we'll have the same amount of fun tomorrow.